Welcome to another video tutorial. Today, I want to talk about how we can set up this sign in using Azure AD option for Snowflake. So this is going to let us click this button to sign into our Snowflake account rather than using a username and password login. And we're also going to set up in a way that if we want to add new users or manage our users that we have in Snowflake, we can do that all from the Azure side. So to get that set up, we want to get Snowflake and Azure talking to each other. So I've also got my Azure account open here. I actually just started the homepage so you can see where to go. The first thing we want to do is set up the Snowflake application from Azure. So in Azure's enterprise applications, click that. And you can see I've already got the Snowflake for AAD. That's what we need to get Azure starting to talk to Snowflake. Um, if you don't have that, you can just click New Application. And search for Snowflake. That is the one you want, Snowflake for AAD. So if you don't have that, click that. I've already got it, so I'm going to come back to here and open it. And from the Snowflake AAD, it's going to list the steps in a moment that we need to go through to start that connection between Snowflake and Azure. So we have step one is to assign our users and groups. Those are users that we have in Azure that we want to give Snowflake accounts. And we have the set up single sign in option. It's going to get Azure and Snowflake talking to each other. And then we have this provisioning and the provisioning is the syncing that goes on between Azure and Snowflake. So when we add a new user in step one, it's automatically going to sync to our Snowflake account because of what we do in step three. So I'm actually going to start at step two because step two and step three are something that you're going to do as a one-time thing. That's how you're going to set up your account. But we're probably always going to be wanting to add new users and new groups. So we'll leave that one to last. So the first step set up this single sign-on. So I'm just going to click this change single sign-in mode so it's the same screen that you'd see if you're doing this for the first time. It would look like this and we want to select SAML or security assertion markup language. That's how we're going to create this connection. And then once you're in there this basic SAML configuration is what we want to give some information on our Snowflake account to. So I'm going to click Edit, and I've already filled a couple of my boxes in. So this identifier and this reply URL is what we want to give Azure so it knows the right Snowflake account to go to. And so these URLs that we need to give Azure just come from the Snowflake console. So I've got a Snowflake console that I've logged into. I just want to copy this web address, everything from HTTPS through to the end of .com, this, and just paste it into this box here. That's our identifier. And the reply URL is the same URL, except at the end we want this slash fed slash login. So those are the only two URLs you need for your SAML configuration. Once you have those, and um, you can click Save and exit out of here. And so now we've got Azure pointing to Snowflake. We want to do um, the reverse. We want to get Snowflake pointing back to Azure. And so there are a couple of URLs that we need to grab from the Azure side. And one of them is this login URL. So come down to section four here and click copy on this login URL and then come back to Snowflake where you have a worksheet open and we're going to run a SQL command that's going to use Azure's details and so we can point Snowflake to Azure. And the command we want is this alter account set SAML provider and I'll paste this empty template in the description below. And it has four inputs, certificate, SSO URL, type and label. And type and label don't change, so type is custom as you and label is Azure AD. And these other two come from your Azure account. So the um, the link I just copied is the SSO URL. So I'll just paste that in there in the double quotation marks. 
and the certificate comes from, if I come back to my Azure, the certificate base64. So I'll click download there. Now I want to open it up in a text editor. You can see I've downloaded quite a few of these. Just go open with notepad, open. And I just want to copy this long uh, string of numbers and letters. Don't copy the begin certificate and end certificate. Copy those, come back to your Snowflake workbook and paste that in the double um, apostrophes for certificate. So if you're using an account that has admin rights, you should be able to run that command and it should go through fine. And then the second command basically adds this sign in using a zero AD option to your Snowflake login page. So alter account set SSO login page equals true. So then we'll do that. So great, now Snowflake and Azure are recognizing the accounts and they're talking to each other. Next thing we're going to do is set up that provisioning. So come back to your Snowflake for AAD. Come to step three, provisioning user accounts. Cool, so here is the um, provisioning part of things. I'm going to click edit provisioning. You can see how to set this up. This would be the screen you see when you first set up your provisioning. Um, in provisioning mode, it will say manual. You want to set that to automatic. And then we have a couple of credentials to enter in the, in the admin credentials tab. So the first one is the tenant URL. That is the same URL that we're using before. So that's this URL from here. Copy everything again from HTTPS through the end of .com. Paste that into the URL here and um, just add a slash skim, S-C-I-M, and slash V2 onto the end. And the next thing we need to add is a secret token. That also can be grabbed from Snowflake SQL command. So in a Snowflake um, worksheet here, I'll paste this as well in the description below, and it'll work. You won't have to change anything to set this up the same way on your one. So basically, this set of commands is going to create a new role, and that role is going to be the owner of all the new users that we add to Snowflake from Azure. So when they get passed across to Snowflake, they'll have this owner that I'm going to call Azure Connection. So I'm going to create this role, Azure Connection. I'm going to grant that role the right to create users and grant that role the right to create roles and then give those rights to my account admin role and then create this security key for that Azure Connection role. So as your connection, I put it requires in this step for it to be in the single apostrophes. And if you haven't done that in your previous steps, um, Snowflake will capitalize this. So that's why I've added it in capitals down here. So I'll run that to create that token. And then I'll select that token so we can see how it looks. And so I can just open this copy that, come back to Azure, paste it in here, and click Test Connection. And great, authorized, so we can save, and head back to Snowflake for AAD. Okay, cool. So now our provisioning is set up, we can hit start provisioning, and that's going to start automatically syncing all the users that we have from Azure to Snowflake. We've got an error there, I won't worry about that now, but let's try and add, come back to Snowflake for Azure AD. Let's now add a new user to our Snowflake account from Azure. So we can do that using the assign users and groups button here. But first, we need to have those users in our Azure organization. 
to be an option for adding to Snowflake. So I'm just going to step out of the Snowflake for AAD application for a moment. Go back to the home page. I want to come to Azure Active Directory. So from our Azure Active Directory, we can make new Azure accounts under our, under our Azure organization. So here, I just want to add a new user. And I'll go create user, example, Andrew, name, Andrew, Johns, first name Andrew, last name Johns. And you can see it's already created a username with Andrew Act and my organizational extension here. And I'll create a password for Andrew. And then hit create. So now Andrew is in my Azure organization. I won't save that. I'll come back to um, go back to my Snowflake setup in Azure oh, Enterprise Applications. Snowflake for AAD, and let's now go to that first step. We can assign users and groups. So you can see in here that I have three users already in the organization, Ben Higgs, Joe Blogs, and Sam Sam. So if I click add user slash group, I can select a user from my organization. Andrew Johns is there as an option. Select Andrew and select a role. And these are not Snowflake roles. These are Azure roles. So I'm just going to go with user. and click assign. Cool, so now Andrew Johns is there as a new user. I'll come back to Snowflake for AAD. So now I've created Andrew Johns as a new role here and I've got my provisioning set up so it should automatically be syncing. I can come to back to my worksheet in Snowflake, go to account Um, oh yeah, users, and then we can see Andrew is here. There's his email address that got made. Andrew Johns is his display name. And if I scroll to the right, the owner will be Azure Connection. That's the role that we made for connecting to Azure. And so now um, that these Azure accounts are in there, Andrew Johns, as well as um, Joe Blogs and Sam Sam, we can use that login using Azure AD. So I'll just open up a new browser window that shouldn't have all those credentials already saved automatically. And I'll click sign in using Azure AD. Now I just need the email address and what we'll email I will use Andrew Chonzes, maybe I'll just get it from my Azure Johns. Here it is. Paste that in there. And type the password that I made for Andrew in Azure. Need to update my password because it's the first time using it. All right. I won't stay signed in. Great, and so I wanted to get to the classic console.
Cool. So now we're in Andrew Johns's um, new Snowflake account, which we, which we could get to using the Azure AD login. So I hope that's been helpful. And any questions, drop a comment um, below. Thank you for watching.